Hello again. This is the stock market. Why defining your market is key. My name is Jutta Jalic, and now we're going to jump into the four levels of competition. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of the questions somehow relate to your competition because when we are talking about a market, you are not the only one on the market. You are not the only one who is producing a certain kind of product or service. There's others you need to compare yourself to. And uh, that's kind of that fun for some people also to measure up against others. And um, that's why I want to dive deeper into this topic and start with the first one, which I call, or which is called the brand competition. And what is brand competition now? Um, it's another company that people see as the other choice. Um, so it's a company that offers similar products or services to the same customer and at a similar pr price. So an, as an example, I brought here um, from the car industry, it's about Volkswagen, for example, um, that we could take and say, okay, the brand competition for Volkswagen would be Toyota, Honda, or other you know, car manufacturers that are selling uh, cars at a medium price. So in this case, not like a Mercedes or a Hyundai, but something that is in that similar um, product range. Let's jump to our next one. The industry competition. Industry competition is all the other companies that make the same product or the same class of products. Now let's stay with that example of Volkswagen. Volkswagen is competing against all other car manufacturers. So we started with the brand where it was more defined in the sense of uh, the same pricing range and the same features and functionalities. Now we are making this a little bit bigger and the industry competition is about all other car manufacturers. The next level of competition is called the form competition, which means all the competitors, all the other companies, that manufacture products that supply the same service. Now, what does that mean? Um, all other companies that satisfy the same needs. However, you do that. So staying with our example of Volkswagen, they are not only you know, competing on, against all manufacturers of other cars, but also motorcycles and bicycles and trucks and boats and you know, all kinds of ways you can move because the basic need they're satisfying is to get a person from A to B. And now we have one more um, level of competition left and we, you're seeing we are becoming bigger and bigger. That's why this one is also called the generic competition. Here it's now about all the companies that compete for the same consumer dollar. That's how it is uh, defined. Staying with our Volkswagen example, um, it would be the competition or the, the companies that sell to this consumer that you are targeting. And they may have to choose between a new car or a vacation or another home. So it's, it's at the very, very top level um, where you are coming from the point of view of, of that customer and the buying power that customer has and the choices that they basically have to make. So these four levels of competition are quite uh, a good framework to actually 
position your own idea for a product and service and to look at um, yeah who who are you up against in a very specific and uh, yeah real and to the point way so please go through these four levels of competition and try to define that for your idea Thank you for diving into this concept. I'm sure you do have questions in your mind now. Feel free, of course, to listen to this again and uh, note down your thoughts and questions in connection to your idea. See you on the other side.